So the big question in data science, Python or R? Well, here's why I use Python instead of R for data science. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Leon. I'm a data scientist based in the UK. So I used to use R a lot during my undergraduate maths degree, but then I decided to switch over and use Python pretty much exclusively. Here are the timestamps, and in this video, I'm going to talk about my reasons for using Python instead of R. Let's get right into it. So Python is a general purpose programming language, which means you can use it to do a lot of different things. You can use Python for data science or web and game development or making web apps or even things like robotics, whereas R is usually just for stats and analytics. Many companies use Python for a lot of different things. For example, they might use it for their web development and they'll also use Python for data science. So in that kind of environment, since everything's in the same language, it's much easier to integrate everything together. Whereas if I was to use R, I would pretty much only use it just for stats and analytics. Personally, I think the flexibility to be able to do different things is incredibly important because it keeps me motivated to learn more Python. Whereas if I was to use R, I feel like I'd be so limited to stats and analysis that I'd get bored of it pretty quickly. Python is extremely easy to read. So if you come from a non-coding background like me, then you'll find it incredibly easy to learn compared to many other programming languages. Python is known as a high level language, which means a lot of the details are actually abstracted and hence why it's so easy to read. In contrast, languages like R and C++ are considered low level languages, which means that they're closer to machine language. So even writing simple procedures can require a lot of code. An interesting thing you might not have thought about is that during coding interviews, since Python's easy to write, you can finish problems problems quicker, and since it's easy to read, interviewers can understand your solution easier as well. So in this kind of environment, using Python might actually put you at an advantage compared to other languages. Python is now one of the most popular programming languages in the world. Like I said earlier, Python is a general purpose language and it's easy to read and learn. So it's not really surprising that it's become this popular. The main benefit of this popularity is that the Python community is now extremely big. So if you have any issues, you're much more likely to come across somebody that can help you fix them. For example, for my first ever computer vision project that I did in Python, I reckon it was only possible because there was so much information online that I could fix almost anything as long as I searched long enough. However, I will say though that R has a much more specialized community of statisticians. So if you're into statistics, it might make more sense to stick with R instead of Python. But pretty much anything else though, I would much rather go with Python because the community is just so much bigger. When it comes to deep learning, most serious deep learning projects are done in Python. So if I want to take deep learning seriously, it probably makes the most sense for me to use Python instead of R. Libraries like TensorFlow, Keras, and PyTorch are written in or expressed in Python and are very popular for deep learning projects. Because of this, most of the deep learning community use Python as their main language. It was only later that these libraries became available in R. So if I was an R user, I would have had to wait a while until I could actually use them. Also, since Python is a general purpose language, you might have a Python based application, in which case if you train a deep learning Python based model, it'd be much easier for you to deploy that into the Python application because they're in the same language. Whereas if you had an R based model, it might be more difficult to do the same thing. Now there's actually a lot of things that I wish I'd do differently if I was to learn Python again, which I talk about in the video up here. Let me know in the comments down below if you prefer Python or R. You can also follow me on Instagram. And if you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.